Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 1310 21 Sheik Street in the Fashion District of San Maishuno. And this is a two bedroom, one bathroom house that is for a couple of parents who have a toddler. And I had so much fun with all of the colors in this apartment. It's very bright and cheerful. Uh, and I just, I wanted something that looked kind of spring-like, if that makes sense. So I have a lot of pinks, yellows, and blues in this space. Uh, it ends up being a little bit vibrant, so this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I had a lot of fun with this particular design, and I really like the floor plan that I came up with as well. At first, I was thinking that I was going to have the kitchen and the living room in a separate space with an archway, but as you can see, I'm bulldozing that wall now and combining them all into one space, which I think worked a lot better for this particular apartment, but... I do want to experiment with some more closed off floor plans in apartments in particular because I feel like in general, I always go for like open concept in these spaces and I'm not sure why that is. So if you have any ideas you'd like to see for some apartments, do let me know. I'm thinking of doing a bunch of apartments sometime soon just because I, I have that, that itch right now. I just really, really want to decorate some apartments. I think it's just kind of fun because you can go all out on an aesthetic without having to build the exterior, but I also love exterior. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, over here, I am just adding this little side table on the other end of the counter to add some more storage, and I end up putting some cute, like, kids stuff there, and I love, love the couches and chairs I used. These ones are from the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack, and I don't think I've ever used this swatch before. I primarily only use this couch in, like, the creamish swatch because all the other colors are very bright and pastel and, you know, vibrant. And typically speaking, that is not what I go for, but that is exactly what I went for this in this apartment. I love that I use these bright yellow curtains and there's just like a mixture of different tones going on in here, but I hope you will enjoy it. And if you do and you'd like to download this build, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So just cluttering up the countertops here, I just really wanted the space to look lived in, but not too messy. So there is quite a bit of clutter out and about. We have like cups and a space for your Sims to dry their dishes, lots of canisters. I also put some sticky notes on the freezer and I believe I got some kids drawings to put on the lower portion of the fridge as well. Also placed down this cork board and just adding a little cat calendar to that. I thought that that was pretty cute. And here are those kids' drawings that I had mentioned. These are ones that your kids can do on one of the art tables from Seasons. Uh, those ones are like the spring-themed ones, and I just thought that that made the most sense for this build. And then uh, changing up some of the wall paint in here as well to get a little bit more contrast. So just getting some art on the wall there. And I love the floral pattern that I put behind the TV. That's a wallpaper from the Paranormal Stuff Pack. And then I just got a play and a clock over in the corner. Nothing too exciting, but I did get some clutter on this cabinet that I put under the TV. We got some books. I put a couple of those together, and I believe I also get... Oh, I thought about adding this pillow, but it didn't have the swatches I wanted, uh, but I did get a little toy and I believe one other thing. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is right now, but I... Oh, wait. Yeah, I got a couple of these little boxes from Dream Home Decorator, which I think look so nice there. Just extra storage and kind of cleaned up storage. So th they have a lot of stuff, but it's not messy. And then I'm just adding a couple of aprons by the fridge before we move into the hallway space, which is also where I end up having a desk and a computer. So it's kind of like an office slash hallway. Uh, I've never done this floor plan before because it's just, there's an awkward hallway at the front of the apartment, but I feel like that's really realistic. And so I was excited about that. Also, you might notice that some of the windows in this apartment are different windows <laughs> than the apartment originally has. That's because I started working on an apartment and I came up with this floor plan and I ended up wanting to swap out one window and then add another so that I could have a second bedroom over on the other side of the build. But when I went to go furnish it, I just really wasn't liking it, but I wanted to keep this floor plan because I really liked the floor plan. Uh, so I ended up putting that all back for uh, this video. So this is my second attempt at an apartment. The other one was a very different style. I don't really even know what to call it. I was using a lot of the country kitchen kit and like more rundown rustic items and it was kind of colorful as well, but it, it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted. But if you have any ideas on something like that you would like to see, do let me know. Uh, but that is why some of the windows here are changed, but you didn't see me doing that. And if you were wondering how I did that, 
Uh, you can change windows in apartments if you're using the tool mod, which is a really helpful mod created by Twisted Maxi. It is linked in the description of all of my videos. So if you ever see me like rotating something or scaling something weird or replacing windows in apartments, it's most likely because I'm using that mod. So anyway, uh, finishing up the hallway here, just getting a coat by it or like a coat rack by the door, all of your temperature controls, and then moving on into the toddler's bedroom. I decided to go all out pink in here. I can't remember what item it was I saw before I started working on this that made me really want to have like a pink toddler's room, but I really did. And I also just feel like as soon as infants come out next month, I'm not going to be making too many toddler's rooms. It's always going to be infant rooms. So might as well do a cute one right now. Well, they are our current most exciting of the tiny children <laughs> because right now we just have toddlers and babies and babies are not very fun to decorate for. Toddlers are though and infants I'm very excited about. So anyway, I just have a couple of like dog themed things in here, which I thought was a cute uh, addition. I also have a couple of toys and I'm about to grab a toy box to put in the corner next to this little dresser. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of pieces of artwork on the wall. I ended up getting this one from the pastel pop kit and use the shoe decor as well. That is in base game, which came with the toddler update to begin with that just has all their little shoes. I think it is so cute. I always have. Uh, but anyway, working on the bathroom now, I have a little bit of a weird layout in here because I wanted to make sure everything worked and that you had a place to bathe your toddler. But also, I thought it would be nice to have a toddler potty in here for your Sims to use. So I'm trying to figure out the best layout to make that all work. So it's a little bit odd, but I, I was pretty happy with it. So we have the sink over here with the toddler potty next to it. I also added a trash can in here as well. And I end up using a bunch of clutter from various packs. I end up using a couple of pieces from the bathroom clutter kit up here. I just really like that soap dispenser. I think it is so pretty. And the little cup of toothbrushes and toothpaste, I think is quite nice as well because we've been stuck to the same one since space game. So having another option is so nice. And then I just get a rug in here and that is it for that room. And we're moving on to the primary bedroom, the parents bedroom. This one is still bright and cheerful, but it's a little bit more toned down than the rest of the apartment. Uh, so I'm using some of this really pretty green and gray in here. And we end up only having one bedside table because it's such a narrow space that the other one would have been clipping into the bed. So I just opted for one on one side and I put a lamp over on the other side of the bed. Uh, and then, you know, adding a lamp over here and some bedroom, not bedroom, bedside table decor. There we go. I wanted that piece from the everyday clutter kit. I thought it looked nice there. And then I just got some fun artwork up above the bed. It's very colorful, but it's a little bit more muted than the colors in the living room. And then I just added some extra storage over here by the door. Uh, I ended up actually cutting off part of this room and turning it into a walk-in closet, which I thought was an interesting use of the space. Uh, if you preferred, you could probably turn this into like a little office or something so you don't have to have an office in the hallway. Or maybe it could be a mini nursery for a baby while well, they are still technically a baby and you have just the bassinet in there. That could be really cute as well. There's lots of possibilities, but I'm just grabbing some of these pieces from Dream Home Decorator to make a modular wardrobe and I end up having a chair over in the corner. It's pretty simple, but it serves its purpose and I thought it was a nice use of this space. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this apartment. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun creating something really bright and cheerful. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.